With summer vacation quickly approaching, I wanted to give you some tips on how to protect you and your family from any tick-borne diseases. Fortunately, we live in a place where there are not very many wood ticks. Uh, however, with the climate changing, there are some predictions that tick habitat is going to spread up to our area. There are sprays available. There are quite a variety of them. One of them that works well it contains DEET. I don't recommend using DEET in infants and I also recommend using a lower concentration of DEET for older children, usually 30% and below. If you're going to be in Montana or a place that has higher tick burden, I always recommend uh, preventing those ticks from getting onto you. Uh, what ticks will typically do is they'll jump from the grasses, they'll jump onto your clothes, crawl up your clothes, and then find a nice place on your skin to attach. So tucking in your your pants to your socks, also wearing long sleeves and tucking in your t-shirt can definitely prevent them from getting to that skin. So when you get home from being outside, check your clothes. You can wash your clothes with hot water, put them in the dryer on high heat. This will kill the ticks, um, which is great because they can hide on those clothes and then make their way into your house. They can also hide on your pets too, so make sure you check them. The most important thing you can do is check your children every time you're done from being outside. Um, you need to check their hair, you need to check all skin folds and cracks. Ticks like to hide in warm areas. They also can be as small as a tiny little freckle and they can be as big as uh, the end of a eraser on a pencil. So keep in mind you have to do a very detailed, careful check. If you do find them, it's important to remove them. The best way to remove them is with a tweezers, making sure the best you can to get that little mouth out of the skin that's attached. They also make these little tick removal devices at uh, different sporting goods stores that work really well. Um, and of course, if your kid ever develops a rash and you've been in a tick area or have had a tick bite, let your physician know. Thank you.